guys, Tabby here and welcome back to my channel. So guys, today I have my first ever box from Beacon Book Box and it is their Christmas box and it's heavy. A very Beacon Christmas featuring Hinderbell by J.D. Netto, maybe? So yeah, this is the box. It kind of gives me Harry Potter vibes because of the stag, but everything does. So many of the fandoms that they included in this box are my absolute favorite. So I knew I had to grab it. It was a little more expensive. I don't remember the price, um, but I'll, if I can find it, I'll put it somewhere. But I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this box. So if you're interested, keep watching and let's get into it. Let's do a sneak peek. Oh my gosh, I think that's a blanket right on top. This is the spoiler card spoilers on the back, so we will save that for last. But guys, I think we have a blanket. Ooh, and it is so soft. I'm gonna have to take a picture and like put it on here because this blanket is massive, but it's so fuzzy and soft. But I think it's Prince Cardin. I think this is from the Cruel Prince. I might be completely wrong. Yeah, it says Santa Wicked Fay Prince Blanket designed by Silver Art. But guys, I wish you could feel how soft this blanket is. Wow. Great start to the box. Next, there's this cute little jar and it says Aline's You'll Miss Coco. It is hot chocolate. Oh, that smells so good. And ingredients on the bottom, which I always appreciate. I love the little jar that this came in. And that is such a cute picture. Oh, yes, I am a big hot cocoa drinker during winter, so that is perfect. Yes. Next we have, ooh, it is a black box. Is it jewelry? It is a Harry Potter ornament. And it says nine and three quarters. That is so freaking cute. Yes, I cannot wait to put this on my Christmas tree. That That is awesome. Yes, just yes. So far guys, I am loving, loving this box. Next we have a pillowcase or a scarf. Hold on. It's a banner and it says, I am always surprised to discover that when the world seems the darkest, exists the greatest opportunity for light. Bridget, Bridget Kimmerer? Kimmer? That is so pretty. I adore the purple and blue. I'm not sure what this is based off of. Hold on. A Curse So Dark and Lonely inspired tapestry designed by Stella Bookish Arts. I have read that book and I am so ready for the second book in that series. I can't believe I didn't recognize that. That is awesome. Wow. Next we have an oven mitt. That is so cute. It has a book that says Expecto Patronum. And then we have a wreath with what looks like a broom wrapped around. Oh, Happy Yule Miss, Snowflake. Right here it says Akatar. So I'm assuming this is like different fandoms. Bookish Oven Mitt. It is a bookish oven mitt. So it has different ones on there. I love this, that is so cute. Oh my gosh. And then I see the book, but we will save that for last because we have tons more stuff in here. We have, oh, it's some cookie cutters. Oh, it's a book cookie cutter from Team Beacon. I did not see that, but that is so cute. I really hope to make cookies with my kids this year, so that is perfect. Next we have an enamel pin, and it's like a snow globe, and it has Narnia on there, and it has the iconic lamp. That is so cute. This is by SJ Wonderlands. I love the detail on this pin. That is so cute. And then we have a bookmark. I don't know what this is based off, but it is so pretty. It just says winter bookmark. I love bookmarks, so you can never have too many bookmarks. Next we have an art print. This is from Shadow Hunters. And on the back is a recipe. It says Nana's Christmas Cookie Recipe. 
bacon with the beacons. That is so cute. <laughs> So it's a complete recipe on an art print. That is awesome. I'm gonna have to try that this year. Chocolate chip cookies are my absolute favorite cookies in the world. You guys let me know in the comments down below what is your favorite cookie. That is awesome. Next we have a little Christmas card and it says, may your holidays be filled with brooding YA heroes, objects of great power, butterbeer, and Sansa's favorite lemon cake. James and Liz. Oh, that is so cute. I love that. That is such a cute touch. And then we have some art prints. This, of course, is from Lord of the Rings. It's Gandalf the Grey with him smoking his tobacco. That is awesome. You guys know I love Lord of the Rings. Yay! And then we have another art print. Uh, I think this is from the Lunar Chronicles because it has because she has her little robot hand and then we have this one. Ooh, this is a court. This is from the Akatar series. No? Yes, this is a court of thorns and roses. Oh, that is gorgeous. I love the Akatar series. And then last but not least is this one. I have no idea, hold on. Six of Crows. Oh, okay. I love all of these. These are so cute. And last in the box, we have some, it's wrapping paper. Oh, that is so cute. So it's kind of like the same design as our oven mitt with like different fandoms. I am totally going to wrap my Christmas presents in this wrapping paper because why not? <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, and last but not least is the book and it is Hinderbell, The Shadow of St. Nicholas by J.D. Netto. Look at the cover. That is so pretty. Oh, and it came with a little letter from the author and it is signed by the author. Let's see what it looks like without. So just blue with gold on the spine. This is kind of old school books. That's really cute. Oh, hold the phone. There are two covers. Oh, okay, wow. Okay, so this is the first cover. And this is the second one. That is so cool. We have two different covers. Oh, I don't know which one I like more. I think I like this one more. That is so pretty. But I'm gonna go ahead and read the description real fast. Enzo and Ava Griffin never expected to face their worst nightmare on Christmas Eve. Though they always dreamed of magic, they never thought of its actual existence and the consequence it carries. During a violent snowstorm, they're visited by foul creatures called shadow spirits. The eerie beings kidnap both of their grandparents, vanishing into a portal found on the bark of a tree. After the frightening incident, Enzo and Ava discover Hinderbell, a world full of magic, wonder, and secrets. But an impending doom is revealed to them. The king and queen of Hinderbell are missing, and their absence could trigger the destruction of this newfound world and the human realm. On the quest to find both Hinderbellian rulers, Enzo and Ava learn of a curse placed upon their own bloodline. But other ancient enemies have risen from their graves, seeking revenge for a past unknown to them. Enzo and Ava find friendship, courage, and love as they face unimaginable darkness in the quest to redeem the world they belong and the one they live in. Can you discover the curse hidden in the shadows? That sounds amazing. Wow. I am so excited to read this. But guys, that was everything from the box. As always, you will have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. Definitely for me, the blankets and... Harry Potter ornament were my favorite items, but I also really loved the tapestry. I really don't have a least favorite item. This was such a good box and my first ever from Beacon Book Box, but it will definitely not be my last. This was so good. So I'm very happy with my first box from Beacon Book Box. But as always, you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to join my small community of Harry Potter lovers and bookworms. And I will see y'all next time. Bye guys.
Ever box. Kit Kat, stop knocking the camera. Missed, ad, 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 amidst, 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 admit. Have, I'm assuming the. Wow, 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 wow. Right? Is that what this is? The tash, not tap, 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 but I also. Boobed hair. I'm gonna chop you off. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna chop you all off.